Dear God, I got one question I need to know, do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever And they seeds grow Tell them that we love them so And never let them die slow It's like we cursed to be born black We was kings and queens, now look where we at I know it won't be long before we take it back I just hope I live long enough to see it happen And that's a fact Cause one thing when you pro-black you might love your people, but they may not love you back For more than 400 years, we've been under attack We survived slavery and then they gave us crack Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I wanna know Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I wanna know Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so Stroke, I'm trying to deal with all, all this high tech Oh <laughs> wow, first and foremost, I want to thank you I truly appreciate you coming on the show I appreciate your patience I appreciate everything that you have done for our people, historically, educationally. For the viewers who don't know, we done been on the phone about three hours <laughs> to and make this happen. Uh, in other words, high tech is supposed to work like a, a flash. And for us, it's me, it's going through the heavy water. Uh, right, to, but it's an honor. It's like an it's honor. Cool. It's truly well, an honor. With me, I'm glad. I just spent two hours with Malcolm, with not Malcolm, Dr. Ben's daughter. And uh, we're trying to figure out how to, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have a marker on his grave. And wow. uh, so we got to go through all these levels. He's, uh, you know, he always talks about the craft, the Egyptian secret societies and this and that. So we got to get them involved. And then, unfortunately, uh, with her um, family, you have a mix of people. Some are heavy Christians. Some are anti-Dr. Ben himself. You know, he was not a loving person. Dr. Ben was a, a SOB. Uh, you know, son of black people. I mean, he made it rough on you. So his son, Alfredo, his oldest son, and him were at war. They hated each other. Uh, and how the hell can you function uh, when you have abject hate? The oldest now we have a meeting at Clark House to try to resolve some of the questions of his legacy. And um, and they said they have a, he, he died, so they got a funeral. So we said, well, when is the funeral? And they said, it's going to be in, in a couple, a, a week, and it's going to be in the Bronx. I said, well, was any of us involved? And they said, no, it's a family funeral. So I said, well, how the hell can you have a giant like that and you're going to have a funeral in the Bronx in a place that holds 100 people? you got got 100 of you guys. So that meant you had no intention of us being in, being there. And uh, that, that's what it was. I had to tell the brother, I said, brother, you're putting your ass. Now here, my wife and all these senior citizens are there, elders. I said, brother, you're putting your ass up in our face, expecting us to kiss it. I said, my brothers is to put my foot up your ass. Everybody was silent. Then when they realized I could get that serious, I said, your family, you all need to go downstairs, meet, and decide. We're going to have a funeral for this brother in the next couple of weeks. And uh, so they went downstairs, and then they came came back and said, okay, but we'll have a funeral for him, but we can't have it in a couple of weeks because people have to be notified around the country, and so it has to be in three weeks. I said, good, three weeks. So we did. We had a beautiful funeral for Dr. Ben in Abyssinian Baptist Church, and it was just uh, 
couldn't get any better than that. The son that hates his father after this fantastic celebration of this wonderful uh, icon in our community, the son walks past Reverend Butts and Professor Small and says, this is a sham and a, a this, I mean, instead of him just quietly walking out of the church with his head bowed down, he's gonna try to shove a stick up Professor Small and Reverend Butts' ass. I mean, that's the poison in the family, but that's for you and I, it's not for the, for the world. I mean, uh, people have these family things and they're real, but uh, Dr. Clark and Dr. Ben were interested in the global African family and they opened the global African family to us like nobody else ever could. And so we're gonna make sure that um, his daughter and I were talking about uh, the shrine or the the top of his, uh, they're trying to develop the right uh, material for his uh, burial. And so I told her that we do have, I, my organization, I got them to put up uh, $1,500. So I said, that's money that's available. And uh, so this is his oldest daughter. She's working. She's a hard nut like him. So people don't like to deal with her, but Ruth will get things done. So what you, the stuff that we, you and I are trying to do, that, that's small potatoes compared to what I had to do two hours before with her and trying to fortify her. And then she said, at the end of the conversation, she has the manuscripts. So I said, you have the manuscripts? She said, yes, I was able to get them out of the apartment. So some of his original writings she has, and so she's going to make sure she preserves them. And we're going to we're trying to find a center. Uh, that's what we talked about. Either one of the buildings in Harlem uh, that he can his his manuscripts can be put uh, put there. And uh, so what you and I just went through was like a piece of cake compared to uh, trying to deal with. The disasters when it comes to um, a funeral, 